pandemic era relief program offering you a bit of a break at the gas pump will finally come to an end in Erie County next month. Yeah, that's right. We know this sunset of the gas tax holiday may leave some of you with questions. A big one. What will this do to prices at my local gas station? The relief program has been in place for about 18 months. There are a lot of taxes that you pay on a gallon of gas, but Erie County kept its tax on just the first two dollars. If it expires on March 1st, you'll pay the county sales tax now on the total cost per gallon. And that expiration date comes as many Western New Yorkers enjoy the cheapest gas in months. According to Gas Buddy, prices have been falling here since mid-September, but for a while our prices were dropping at a slower rate compared to the national average. Now we've caught up and we're paying about $3.25 a gallon on average here at home. But still, we know saving money does matter to you, even if it's just a few cents on each gallon of gas. And that's why tonight I spoke with the county executive about why he says the cap is going away. Gas Buddy on the future of prices in our region, what's projected here, and a phone conversation with the owner of a local gas station about what he expects on March 1st. And of course, a neighbor out pumping gas. Hey, we're paying enough for gas as, as it is now. Michael Bullock says he doesn't want the county gas tax cap to expire in March. I'm sure most consumers wish it could continue, but hey, we got a little break for a while, so hopefully the gas prices continue going down. We talked with him outside Jim's truck stop on Walden Avenue. The owner of this gas station, Carl Hasselback, telling me he also wants the cap to stay in place. I spoke with him by phone today. Come March 1st, what do customers need to know? What will they expect at the pump? I don't have any idea. He says he sets his prices based on a number of factors, including cost and competition. For example, I came in Monday morning and our cost price was up three cents. Before I turned around, my Tuesday price was down four and a half cents. So the net effect was we didn't do anything. So he says it is possible when the tax cap expires, you won't notice anything. I don't know. Uh, it would not be unbelievable that on the 1st of March, prices are down another dime. And if they are, then the sales tax increase would only be two and a half cents. County Executive Mark Polencars tells 7 News there are a couple of reasons they are not extending the tax cap. The intention was for this to be a temporary situation when, when gas was over $4 a gallon. He also says he doesn't think gas station owners are passing on the savings. When we instituted it, we expected to see anywhere from a 7 to 11 cent drop in the price, and we didn't. And what we think happened was a number of the retailers just pocketed the uh, the alleged savings. We had our Office of Consumer Protection analyzing the cost. I asked Hasselback about that. That's the most ridiculous statement I've ever heard. When somebody says, you didn't pass it on, uh, where's the study that shows that we didn't pass it on? Recently on Voices, Michael Wooten spoke with Gas Buddy's head of petroleum analysis, who says we have this mild winter to thank for the lower prices at the pump. But I would caution Buffalo, what goes down eventually will go back up. We are on the cusp of starting the transition to cleaner, more expensive summer gasoline. And refiners are going to start maintenance here in the next couple of weeks. Bullock says he has been thankful for the county gas tax cap and wishes it would remain in place. With the inflation and everything, it's uh, every little bit helps. So and it's just more that we got to pay out of our pockets. Now again, the gas tax cap will end in March. It was a close vote with the Erie County Legislature voting six to five to not extend that tax relief.